a World Series winner, and a bunch of care packages coming up. What is up, Autograph Nation? TTM Troy here from ttmautograph.com, and it has been a while. I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. I know I did. Uh, any Christmas where it's 60 degrees, I will take it. <laughs> of course, when I was in LA, it was always 60 degrees on Christmas or thereabouts, but middle of uh, the Midwest, having it 60 degrees, that is pretty darn good. I, I, I don't... Uh, I'm not mad at not having a white Christmas at all. Not at all. Hey, it's been a while, but I do have a few autographs for you that I'm going to be catching up with in the next few weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm kind of, uh, I'm not being as uh, prolific, I guess, <laughs> with my TTMs as I have been in the past. I'm kind of laying low until spring training. Haven't really sent anything out. Haven't sent any football out uh, at all. Um, yeah, but I do have some returns for you today as well as some care package stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff to show you today and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get to the first one right now. Here you go. Coming up. Boom. All right. First we have Chase Anderson. He is a great TTMer. Uh, <laughs> he signed two of two in 232 days via the Brewers spring training. Now you could write to him at uh, here's the Maryville Baseball Park, which is where the spring training was. Again, you don't want to write to him there now, per se, uh, since this is the off season. but that is where I wrote to, right there in Phoenix. Now, I've talked about him before because I've gotten him back uh, two or three times, but he has played in the majors since 2014 for the Diamondbacks and then, of course, the Brewers. He is a great TTMer, whether it's through spring training or the regular season so definitely keep him on your short list of people to <laughs> send out here in the new year so definitely check him out again uh great ttmer and uh, as of september 26th he had a win-loss record of 53 and 40 with an era of 3.94 and 721 strikeouts chase anderson next we have ed whitson he signed one of one in 24 days with a $5 donation via his home in Ohio. His address is on Star Tiger. If you are new to the channel, I basically will give you the address as long as it is found on a free public address site. But if there is, a, if it's behind a site that has, let's say, that you have to pay for or subscribe to, I will give you the site that I got the address from, just to be fair to all the people who pay for that site. So if you want this address, you'll have to check out Star Tiger, okay? <laughs> well, he played from 1977 to 1991 for the Pirates, the Giants, the Indians, the Padres, the Yankees, Yankees, and again for the Padres. Now, he was on the 1980 All-Star team, and during his career, he had a win-loss record of 126 and 123 with a 3.79 ERA and 1,266 strikeouts. Ed Whitson. Next, we have Derek King. He signed two of two in 111 days via the Rockford Ice Hogs. And there you can see the address for the uh, Ice Hogs. Rockford Ice Hogs, right there in Rockford, Illinois, right there on your screen. Now, he played from 1986 to 2004 for the Islanders, the Whalers, the Maple Leafs, and the St. Louis Blues. Now, during his career, he played in 830 games, scoring 261 goals and 351 assists. So there you go. He then went on to coach in the AHL and is currently the coach, obviously, of the Rockford Ice Hogs. So there you go, Mr. Derek King. Next we have Scott Scudder. He signed one of one in 34 days via his business in Texas for the set. 1991 Don Ross right there. The address for him is on Star Tiger as well. Now, Scott played from 1989 to 1993. That's uh, only four years for the Reds and the Indians and won the World Series with the Reds in 1990. Later, he went on to coach with Team Sweden in 2010. 
And really, that is all Wikipedia really had for him, that little blurb <laughs> right there. So there you go, Mr. Scott Scudder. As I mentioned before, before the autograph started, I got a bunch of care packages, so I'm going to just show some of these right now. Now, uh, my friend and fellow autographer's anonymous co-host uh, <laughs> sent me some things right here, Mr. Andy Summers. First, he sent me an autograph for the wall. Uh, he sent me this thing that says, To Troy, thanks for the book. Harley Dog said it was delicious. And that is because his dog actually ate my book <laughs> before he had a chance to read it. So um, that's pretty funny. And the other one says, I hope I, I make it to the wall. So put both of those in a protector there. And I'm going to put that up on the autograph wall that's over there. Someday I'll show that to you. And he also sent me a few cards for the set. He sent me Dave Road, which I already had in a silver Sharpie and who I just got back not too long ago again, but this one's signed in black and it's the best one that I've seen, so very happy to add that. Next he sent Gary Pettis, right there. Another card for the set. And Charles Nagy. There you go, Cleveland Indians. It's kind of hard to see there, but it is signed again for the set. And I also have some other uh, items from people to put on the wall. I have Jake Olbert sent me his autograph right there. I have Luke Haim sent me his autograph on an index card. I have none other, none other than <laughs> Reindeer Studios who sent me a sketch card autographed, which is really cool. That is fun. Uh, Andrew Williams sent me his 4x6. And going to put that on the wall. And then Caleb, well, first Chase sent me four autographs. So I have one in a top loader and the other three are currently on eBay. And no, they're not on eBay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then I asked, Chase also sent me a uh, Christmas card as well as an autograph of James Jones of the Mariners. So thank you, Chase. That's pretty awesome there. And Caleb, 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 he sent me his autograph. Now, I already had his autograph on the wall, but he sent me a 4 by 6 so that is pretty cool. I think he just wanted to be up on the wall more than once. <laughs> so that's really nice. And then he sent me a few card and autograph-related things, too. He sent me this 19, what is this, 1994 Topps Stadium Club Members Only set right there. He sent me a 1992 Don Russ pack. I think these are the ones that we used for the um, uh, one of our contests not too long ago. And then he sent me a bunch of autographs. He sent me uh, Yvonne Romaine, Romaine, I guess. Sorry, I don't know who that is. Laura Parker. Uh, Gavin McLeod, who I knew from Love Boat. Uh, Susan Lucci and uh, Richard Wood. So there you go. So thank you so much for that, Caleb. And hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. Like I said, you know, we're getting, uh, getting close to the new year. Actually, when this video comes out, it will be New Year's. New Year's. So, well, the second is when I'm going to release this video. I'm actually recording it on... Well, what is today? Tuesday. I've lost track of days. Where has the time gone? And so I'm, I'm recording this one a little early for New Year's or January 2nd. What am I thinking? And so I uh, hope everybody had a great New Year's and a great Christmas. And we're starting 2020 out. Can you believe that? That is pretty cool. If you want to get your autograph up on my wall, like uh, these are going to be going and those are up there. You know, I have a bunch of people right now up on the wall. I have, um, wow, Dustin and Blake, Pepino Man, Triple Crown 24, Henry, uh, TTM Gary, Stacy Schaefer, uh, Dakota, C Card Seller 25. We got Max's Corner. We got Holden and Sam Midget and uh, John Snyder and a whole bunch of people over there. And one of these days I will take a, uh, 
a picture of that. It's not very exciting right now, but uh, not, not that those people aren't exciting. It's just all one thing. It's not very impressive, I guess. Uh, but it is filling up. And if you want to send me a autograph for my wall, you can just send me an index card. The address is down below. And if you include a self-addressed stamped envelope, I will actually send you one of my infamous custom baseball cards. So that would be pretty cool. So think about it. You don't have to. It'd just be cool. So, all right, guys, that is all I have for you right now. I really appreciate you tuning in uh, after my few week absent here. <laughs> and like I'm always fond of saying, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.